All right, CAD fans. Uh, so you should have installed MicroStation already. You hit the icon, it comes up with something like this. This is a little bit confusing because MicroStation uses File Open and File New as different dialogues that look very similar. So watch carefully. I'll hit this button right here for a new file. And I'll call it Week 2. And I'll also look at this third line here, the seed file. Seed files bring in settings and uh, standard stuff to set up your, your drawing files. We're not going to do a lot with them, but suffice it to say we'll start with this 2D one. Hit open and then hit save. So that creates the file. And what I want to do now is just open that particular file. So I click on it, hit open. And here we are. Now you'll notice that uh, it has the typical menu things like any old program. It also has a lot of the tools down the left hand side like SmartLine. It's a pretty standard one that we'll use a lot. Basically you just left click and I'm kind of moving the mouse around not holding any buttons or anything. I can move, go over and click left click again, left click, left click it'll make any shape I want. It doesn't have to be uh, diagonal or anything, wherever you want. So there's a the shape. So let's say now that uh, I really didn't like that, what I just drew, I can delete it. Select the X tool there, hit delete. All these tools up here are pretty standard stuff. There's different selection ones, uh, there's fences, copy. Notice if I hold down on that left mouse button, I can go through and pick one of these others, like move, for example. Um, there's dropping elements, modifying elements, all kinds of different stuff. So those are sort of the modification group. The group here that I'm looking at is mostly creation has the standard kinds of things, circles, boxes, all kinds of stuff. Another feature of MicroStation is that it doesn't uh, doesn't wait to save. I mean, there is a file save and a file save as, but it will continuously save to that file as you go. So you're going to want to make uh, good use of the undo like if I want to undo that delete, undo place smart line, I can go back. After we do a bunch of different things, you'll see that you can use undo and redo uh, many different levels in both directions. If you wanted to make a backup, you can always use file save as, save it as, uh, let's call it week two backup. Like if you're about to change something big you got part way through and you don't want to lose it, just save a, save a backup. And then uh, now I'm actually working in the backup file, so I'll want to switch to the uh, original, right? There we go. Anyway, this also has the same type of windows as you're normally accustomed to. You know, you can maximize, move them around. It's got the... Ah, oh, check this out. The world's largest bulldozer. The Komatsu D575A-3 Super Dozer. 1,150 horsepower. Weighs 336,420 pounds. Has a blade capacity of 90 cubic yards. Sweet! You can also uh, manipulate each individual view. The little mountains will fit the view. Put the piece in as big as you can see it. Uh, you can obviously zoom in and out. The way that works is you just click it once and in it goes. Right. It'll zoom in. We can refresh it. We can go from one view to the next, so I can go back and forth through whatever views I was looking at. Um, let's see, what else? You can do a view window, so if you want to just zoom in on a little piece like that. I left click once, 
left click again it'll zoom in in the corner of that thing I realize now I'm lost so I go back one view uh, it's got all kinds of uh, actions there another thing I want to talk about is the button assignments in MicroStation so if we take uh, like the smart line tool again we left click once move over left click again there's my my line or maybe I just want one line if I'm done with that tool you hit the right mouse button which is called the reset the left mouse button is what they call a normal or data button the right is the reset and then the middle button like if you have a wheel mouse or uh, if you don't have a wheel mouse if you hit both buttons at the same time that's what's called a tentative and those are the three main buttons. So you've seen the uh, left and right. Now let's try the uh, the tentative. So if I just kind of move my cursor over the end of that line, it shows up with a yellow X, meaning I can hit both mouse buttons at the same time. It turns into a big cross, and I can move the mouse around, not holding any buttons. That's a tentative, like if you're going to snap. If that's where I wanted it to be, I can left click and take off from there. Uh, one of the other things you can do is, is use AccuDraw. You see this red-green deal? That helps you align your drawing. If I move, say, down in this direction and hit the Enter key, that turns on what's called Smart Lock. So however far down I go, if I want to be at that level, or if I want to be at that level, it'll left-click and it'll only go to there. That's kind of a handy thing. You also notice that uh, in the lower left part of the screen, these uh, X and Y's, actually lower, lower center, show the distances X and Y. So if I wanted to go down, say, 0.2, if I just type in the X box, it'll lock that into 0.2. And maybe I want to go over in the Y direction, 0.2 as well a 45 degree angle. If I type those in, notice that the X and the Y are highlighted, meaning they're locked. I can lock and unlock them by clicking on that. And it can go one direction or the other. But that uh, really helps your drawing capabilities. Alright, so I can hit the reset button, the right mouse button, to shut that off. And then uh, if that the red-green uh, AccuDraw thing isn't on, you may have to turn it back on. This turns it on and off, the buttons, so now you see that it's not there anymore. Uh, if you want it back on, turn it back on. There it is. Usually you want it on, but once in a while it gets shut off for some reason. You'll need to find that. Along the same lines, uh, the mouse button assignments you can find in Workspace, button assignments, and then these are the advanced ones. You really have to hit the remap buttons part. Uh, so there's our left button is data, right button is reset, and tentative is left and right. So what I could also do is, you see you can click here. I'm going to click my wheel mouse thing. And now I'm going to have my tentative be the middle button alone. But you can set those however you want. On your laptops, you may not have a roll, you know, scrolly thing and stuff, or maybe you have another mouse. Whatever you want. So that's that. A couple more handy view things uh, since we're on the mouse topic. The rolly wheel, if you roll it forward, will zoom in, and if you roll it back, will zoom out. That's kind of a handy thing. If you want to change how much it zooms in and out with the with the wheel, you can go to Workspace, Preferences, Mouse Wheel, and change the zoom in out ratio. So let's change it to like 1.2. And now when I roll the mouse, it just zooms in a little bit at a time.